What's up guys, welcome back. For those of you new to the channel, thanks for joining us. Today, I wanna go over something really quick. I've had a lot of comments and questions about the new Toyota lineup and the Intune system and how to get it connected correctly with the remote app. Um, you know, there are a few tutorials, um, some other documentation out there, but I thought maybe I would give you guys a quick walkthrough um, since I have a press vehicle that has not been connected before, I got a dummy account and I thought I would show you guys how to walk through it. So stick with me here for a moment. I'll show you guys how to do that. Hopefully it'll help some of you guys out there. Let's get to it. So I'm going to be doing this on iOS. So if you don't have it already, you want to get the Toyota app. You can find this in the App Store or the Google Play Store. And once you have it, you tap on the Toyota app, uh, formerly called the Remote Connect app. Now I already have a sign in, so I'm signed in. If you do not, you'll create an account um, with your, <clears throat> I think you can link it with your Apple iOS device or email address or things like that. It's pretty simple, it takes just a few seconds. Once you've done that and you do not currently already have a vehicle listed, if you do, you'll click on the top drop down and add a vehicle. If you don't, like myself, um, on this dummy account, you'll have an add your vehicle pop up here. And all you need to do here is enter the uh, VIN number. You can click on this camera icon and you can just scan the door or your plate that's on the windshield. So I'm gonna do that now. Touch that, the camera pops up there. So I'm gonna scan the door really quick. I'm not even gonna get it out of the truck. So I have that scanned here. You can just verify that it's correct. You can add vehicle. And on the stomach account, I'll verify it's correct. It is the 2021 Sequoia. You can nickname your vehicle here if you want to name it something special. I don't know what we're gonna, eh. let's just play with it here. I had Torque Works on here. And you can select here, view the things that are listed on the capabilities of your vehicle. I know some of you have asked me this in the past on what is available. This will show you everything that is already turned on. If there's something not turned on, it'll list it as capable, but you need further um, capabilities turned on. Click here, we wanna save changes. Okay, and connected service trial um, with these new ones. I believe it's like a year, it could be more than that. Oh, years, uh, two years and 10 months, 30 days, so three year trial. Okay, we'll just accept whatever. Uh, connected service master data. Um, I would read these. I know some of them uh, send information to insurance. Th this one, I declined that one. Uh, the Wi-Fi connects and everything. It just depends on what you want and what you feel comfortable with. Uh, this is gonna be all deleted in a little bit for me anyway, but for you guys, uh, you, you could read through that. I don't really need anybody knowing exactly how I drive if I drive too fast or brake too hard or things like that. So you'll just let it go through its connection process here. Now, since you're doing this on a mobile device, if you're doing it inside the vehicle, which I suggest because the next step you will need to be on the Intune system here behind it, uh, be out of the garage and things like that so you don't get these errors. Now it says am I connected, but with an error. So let's hit the finish setup and see if it actually went through. Okay, it looks like it did. Now this stuff will catch up. This is where you'll get your lock and unlock, your remote start, which I've shown you guys on a previous video uh, for the 4Runner. If you need me to go over that again, I could do that. You'll get your odometer, your fuel, and your mileage. Um, it looks like because this is brand new, uh, it's it's not fully set up uh, and connected, but when it does, if you need to refresh, you can. If you have multiple cars, it'll be listed under my garage. So the next step now, 
uh, we're going to do on the unit here in the vehicle. Um, and you'll need to check your email because it will send you a PIN number and you have to have the PIN number first before you can complete the step on the dash. Now, if you need, you can go to your local dealership where you bought the vehicle. They should help you walk through this. Uh, but if you are like me and you want to do it yourself, you could do it really quickly at home. Now, if you look after you've done that, this is a new updated feature. Uh, it's not as complicated as it was when Remote Connect first started. But if you look under your remote services, where I was saying it looks like it's not all updating, you have the activate remote service button. If you click this, this walks you through instead of waiting so long to, to wait on all the codes and everything like that. So you click on that. All right, so we're gonna go to the unit now. After I check my email for the pin, make sure that's done and we'll go through the authorization process on here. All right, so I've checked my email, here it is. It's got my info for this press vehicle, it's got our authorization code, and it gives me the steps to walk through to do this, okay? So let's go to the head unit, and we'll finish up there, get this connected, and I'll show you what's going on. Okay, and on your Intune 3.0 compatible Toyota, you wanna to find your apps button. Once you click on apps, you wanna find the remote connect authorization button. I've already selected that. And once you do so, you're gonna enter the six code authorization code that you got in your email that we initiated on the app. Okay, so I'm gonna do that now on the press vehicle. You're gonna verify that that's correct with what they've sent you in the email. Now, if you've clicked on it several times in the email, you, get, you may get more than one, but if you're outside of a garage or overhang or anything and you have good signal for the cell connection in, in your truck or car, then you'll get a successful uh, message here because it has good connection. It verified your VIN. You'll click OK. And you should be all set. So if you click back on the apps, you should be all finished here. It's authorized and ready for everything to go. So you start your truck, make sure it's all good, and go back to home. And then now we can go to the app and verify that everything worked there. Now we're going to go back to the app. Toyota app, and we've already done this, so what we want to do is refresh the page, and now you can see everything has popped up here for the vehicle. You have a lock and unlock. Your start button is no longer grayed out. You should show uh, what is in your fuel tank, mileage, so on and so forth, and your other options, which you can go down the page, read on your own, kind of see what's going on. There is some, some cool features. It'll give you a health report. Uh, oil levels, things like that. Um, you can schedule your service from here, which is handy, especially if you travel a lot like I do. Uh, it helps you find a good, a responsible dealer in the area. Um, your manuals, everything's accessible here digitally. Um, you also have a cool thing for roadside assistance. My sister called me not too long ago, has never used it in her Toyotas and needed to because of a flat. And I told her right away how to get to it. And it was quick and easy. She, she had no problem at all. You can view all your trials. You can also turn options off in here if you need to. So like the insurance communication that I showed you earlier, you can turn that off if you don't like it um, and things like that. But yeah, that's how you do it. Uh, it's pretty simple. Once you're shown how to do it, uh, it only takes a few moments. And that wasn't too bad, was it? That's not too bad at all once you're shown how to do it. I know when I first got uh, one of the Toyotas that was capable, I kind of fumbled around a little bit. So I wish I would have had a short and sweet video like this one to show me how to do it. If you guys like what you saw, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you guys for joining me today. If you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comments field below. I'll be sure to get back to each and every one of you as soon as I can. And guys, I'll see you next episode. Have a good one.